Regarding uh, pine share issue, uh, I would like to say that there were only few people who, who made problem for us and the entire nation of the uh, pine share, the entire people who are living in pine share, they have no issue with us, they have no problem and uh, that's solved and there is no problem. Ubaidullah, um, good to have you with us again. Um, now, we've been hearing, as I said, from Zaibullah Mujahid. Uh, let's first talk about what he said about the Panjshir. Uh, your understanding, as we hear now from uh, the spokesperson of the Taliban, that area has fallen to the Taliban, right? Well, that's what the Taliban are officially saying. We're yet to hear from the Panjshir resistance as to what uh, has happened uh, we can also see a post by Balkhi, who is one of the um, spokespeople for the Taliban, uh, posting a picture of Taliban fighters outside the district uh, office of Panjshir as well. Um, so, um, again, if the Taliban are being bold enough to have a press conference about it, there might be some truth to it. Um, for Afghans, it's just a dilemma. The only blessing here is that the fighting ends, uh, and it's unfortunate that so much blood had to be shed uh, for the Taliban to consolidate their power. Um, we hope that political maturity had prevailed on both sides of the conflict, but unfortunately it did not. Um, and uh, let's hope this is the end of the wars. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. I mean, but to that end, we are still waiting to hear from the leader of the National Resistance Front, uh, Ahmed Massoud. Uh, are you any clear as to where he may well be? There are rumours, of course, that he's fled, and, and rumours, as mentioned by Mr Mujahid in his press conference, that the former vice president of Afghanistan, Amrullah Saleh, has fled to Tajikistan. Well, those rumours were circulating two days ago as well when the aerial firing had happened in Kabul. So um, there is that room for doubt. The spokesperson for the National Resistance Front uh, did say that Ahmad Massoud was in a safe place and he was going to speak to the nation soon. So we are yet to hear from him. Um, another uh, aspect of the conference that is quite problematic with regards to the rhetoric coming from the Taliban is the idea that everything would be discussed and every decision would be taken upon agreement and dialogue, especially when asked about women's rights and their position within the coming government. The problem is that all of that hinges on the inclusivity of the government, that if there are differing voices within that decision-making mechanism. Uh, but if it's just the Taliban making those decisions, then we don't understand why the announcement of the government has to happen before the Taliban tell us exactly what they have in mind um, for women, for a lot of policy aspects as well. And so there's that sort of elusiveness to their answers. And that is quite uh, interesting. Yeah, that's a, a very uh, uh, well put point, uh, Ubaidullah. And it does beg the question then, uh, this inclusive government, who do we think may be in it? It's been sort of ruled out that former presidents like uh, Hamid Karzai will be in it. There was a rumour that um, Mr. Dr. Abdullah Abdullah may be in it. I think that has now been ruled out as well. So from what you're understanding, who else will be in it apart from uh, people from the Taliban? So there are quite conflicting reports, even if you heard Mr. Zabiullah Mujahid right now, he said that it's likely that this would be an interim government, which really doesn't make sense if the Taliban hold 100% of Afghan's territory. Why do we need an interim government? What changes after it? Um, it just prolongs this buffer zone that the Taliban have been playing for. Um, with regards to who would be part of the system, please note that upon the Taliban's um, capture of Kabul, um, everyone who was different to the Taliban with regards to um, their political ideology or um, their outlook or vision for Afghanistan, they've left Afghanistan. So anyone who is going to join the Taliban government, even if not from the Taliban, are going to be people that share that vision with them or would not challenge it. Um, so that itself is a worrying prospect that we have to wait and see as to what that accumulates to. Yes, the wait does continue. Okay, Obadullah Bahir from the American University of Afghanistan. Appreciate your analysis. Okay.